Hey guys, I wanted to come on here do an episode review of an episode I've talked about before, but I wanted to kind of, I guess, update the review a little bit. And that would be the transitional uh, episode, the sequel episode, if you will, to uh, Going Bonkers, the uh, one hour, 44 minute to one hour pilot, which aired in prime time and uh, was aired originally uncut, which thankfully I do have a copy of, thank the Lord on that. Um, but I want to come on here and talk about it, I mean not talk about it, but talk about the episodes that, you know, became like a sequel to it, a mid-season sequel, a mid-season finale, and somewhat of a mid-season old transitional episode, and that is New Partners on the Block. And New Partners on the Block aired around the first week in October 1993. It got replayed several times after that. But then after the Oklahoma City bombings in 1995, uh, Disney decided to remove it uh, from circulation uh, due to the fact that they did not, well, not, not, well, not them, but due to the fact that it dealt with very sensitive, a very sensitive, if not recent, situation uh, when it came to the bombings. And basically, Disney's like, you know, let's take this and any other episode from any of our shows, animated or live action, that deals with a similar subject, and remove it and shelve it indefinitely, or at least until, you know, all the smoke, you know, no offense, uh, is cleared. And... It looked like maybe they were on the verge of doing that until what happened about, I would say, a little afterwards, you know, with, you know, the garage and, you know, the World Trade Centers and stuff. And then even after that, you know, they figured, okay, you know, nothing's going to happen now. Things are going to be okay. You know, we could probably re-release it into circulation along with other episodes. And then, of course, 9-11 happened, and then they basically had to keep it off the schedule for a little longer. And it wouldn't be until officially Disney Plus coming around that we would get the episode back in circulation. Now, for me, thankfully, I got in contact with some people that actually had the episode. And they lent me the VHS tape that had it so I could put it onto DVD. And the rest is history. And I think the same went for the uncut version of Going Bonkers. You know, I was able to obtain that. And like I said, the rest is history. Uh, but New Partners on the Block, like I said, is a very, uh, very intriguing episode. Not just for, for its controversial uh, storyline and everything, but mainly for the fact that it was an episode that basically dealt with Bonkers transitioning from Lucky Pacquiao to Miranda Wright. Now, as I've said many times on this channel, when I've talked about Bonkers, either the history of the show, or I've talked about, you know, episodes like this in general, uh, basically, the reason this episode was made was the original idea for Bonkers was his partner was, right off the bat, going to be Miranda Wright. And this was all evident by the fact that you know, as Disney had done prior with a lot of the other previous shows, they had done sneak peeks of Bonkers in the spring on the Disney Channel to kind of get people an idea of what to expect uh, when it would debut on the Disney Afternoon. And the episodes they showed were the Miranda episodes. Now, what we didn't know at the time was, even though this was the original plan, behind the scenes they were reworking the entire concept of the show. They were reworking it, you know, animating it, uh, you know, basically voicing, you know, cast, getting the voice cast, you know, s you know, settled in for it. You know, they were going, you know, the extra mile to, you know, give us a show, you know, a bonkers show right off the bat that was completely different than what was sneak peek to us on Disney Channel. And this was all because the fact that even though 19 of the episodes with Miranda had survived, along with four complimentation He's Bonker episodes, which took the He's Bonker short from Raw Tunage and, and put them together in separate episodes, but the rest of the 
uh, the rest of the uh, episodes out of the uh, ordered 65 because it was supposed to be like 65 episodes. So basically the, I guess you could say the 46, well, I wouldn't say 46, but the, uh, well, yeah, the 40, the, uh, what is it? Yeah, the 46, basically 46 to 45, you know, outside of that. Or I wouldn't say 45, 46 to 45, I'd say the 61 to 62. Oh, no, 41 to 42, that's what it is, 41 to 42. So many numbers, it gets confusing at times. But the uh, other 41 to 42 Miranda Bonkers episodes that were being animated overseas uh, in Japan, uh, in Australia, in France, basically, over time, some of them came back, if not most of them came back looking disastrous, and that only 19 of them, 19 to 20 of them, survived, so they were able to u utilize those episodes uh, instead of what they originally planned and like I said what they had to do to compensate for that was you know remove the original writing team and our you know the original writing team basically and bring in a new writing team which gave us the origin of how Bonkers became a cop you know connected you know that to his you know being fired and removed from being a tune along with his friends you know, a tune, a uh, movie star, you know, television star, you know, you know, along with his friends, basically, it connected that to, you know, how he became a cop and got stuck with a, you know, a partner known as Lucky Paquel, who basically, like, was basically inspired, of course, by Eddie Valiant, because, like, Eddie Valiant, at first, he doesn't like tunes, but he starts to warm up to them uh, through the, uh, throughout the series, just like Eddie warmed up to Roger in the movie. So anyway, the new partners on the block, like I said, was a transitional episode because, you know, they knew that a lot of people viewing it would be like, well, wait a minute, you know, who's this blonde we see in the intro? Or basically they'd be wondering, wait a minute, where'd the blonde go that we saw in the sneak peek? Where'd she go and how, why is this guy here, you know? They basically, they, basically they used this episode to kind of in a continuity sense, kind of answer that question of how Miranda came up, came to be, because they knew people would see her in the intro, and they would, and if they had seen her in the sneak peek on Disney Channel, they'd be wondering, okay, where she's at, and well, that's what this episode did. And as I've said before, this episode basically, um, it basically brought back the animation team that worked on the pilot, because you get sort of the early CGI rain that they put in there, like they've been known to do in some of their classic animated films, even up to that point. Uh, they put in, you know, they brought that team back. They brought, you know, they brought back the atmosphere that was very similar to the pilot. And on top of that, they brought back the characters that were in the pilot that were known to be part of Bonkers uh, cartoons when it was on Raw Tunage. Those characters, of course, being Fondeer, Jitters a Dog, and Grumbles Grizzly, along with the already established Fall Apart Rabbit, uh, who had always appeared in the Lucky episodes to, as a, I guess you could say, a surrogate answer to them not showing up as much, if at all, except maybe in flashbacks, a little animation cameos here and there. Uh, but anyway, not only did they show show back up. Uh, for this, but they had speaking lines more so than they did in the pilot. They had more speaking lines, they had more screen time, which I really appreciated. I really appreciated it, and everybody else did. And basically, them showing up kind of established the fact that when we went into the Miranda episodes afterwards, that seeing them around would be the status quo of how the show was going to be, because that's you know, not only were they going to be like the status quo of what the show was going to be like now, with a more of that raw, tunage-like uh, atmosphere, lighthearted atmosphere, if you will, that we were used to seeing, but basically, it, it also allowed us to kind of get a bit of context, a better idea, especially as the years went on, and we learned more about the reasoning, you know, for, to this transitional episode happening, that this was what was originally planned from the begin from the get go. And, you know, the rest pretty much is history. Uh, but yeah, this episode uh, overall was good. There's no doubt about it. Um, you can catch it on Disney+. Plus. It's going to have a warning on it 
just to let you know, it might be one of those episodes that you have to have an adult setting on, you know, an adult setting on to, to view because of its sensitivity, a uh, sensitive uh, uh, issue and, you know, uh, description and everything, basically what it talks about and deals with. So you may have to have, you may have to turn off the, you know, protection settings to, to watch it if you have the protection settings on there for your kid or something. Uh, but overall, it's a good episode. I like the fact that, they, again, they brought the characters back that we know of from Raw Tunage, you know, from Heath Balkers and all that. They gave them more screen time and speaking time. I love that. And uh, I love the idea. I love the way they, they treated this. I love the fact that, you know, just like, let's say, that you know, a show, even today, sometimes could be used as a backdoor to be sort of a pilot for a new show. That's kind of what this felt like. This felt like it was a backdoor, um, not only mid-season finale, you know, and everything, but it felt like a backdoor transitional pilot, you know, uh, and move into the Miranda episodes and error of the show. So, overall, you know, it had that feel, and it and it worked. It really worked because you have a moment at the end where basically, you know, Miranda's you know wishing Lucky good luck and. You know, Lucky's like, uh, thanks, Miranda, but I think you're going to need the luck. And, you know, kind of like a passing of the torch kind of deal. Like, you know, here's here's the previous season, and, you know, in Lucky Bacall, and here's the new season in Miranda Wright, if you kind of get what I'm saying. But overall, it's, it's good, and I highly recommend to check it out. Like I said, you may have to un undo your protection settings on your account that you put up for your kids, because it might be one of those episodes that... If you have it on the kids settings, you're not going to be able to view unless you uh, unset those, if you know what I mean, to the adult settings. But I just wanted to come on here, do that episode review, or do this episode review on New Partners on the Block from the Disney's Bonkers. I highly recommend checking it out, and that's all I'm going to say. So till next time, God bless, take care, like the video, check out the Teespring store. As well as check me out at BW Rose's discussion on all your favorite audio podcast locations except for Pandora. Still working on that. So as check me out on Vimo at BW Rose's and check me out on Patreon at BW Rose's. And, you know, that's, you know, really about it, guys. So, again, like the video, comment down below, live chat during the premiere, and I am out.